In this video, I wanna share with you some of my favorite digital product creation tools. So if you've ever wanted to learn how to create eBooks and online courses better and faster, then keep on watching this video. Hey, my name's Aurelius, and on this channel, I share my tips, tool reviews, and training to help you build and scale your digital product business. So if that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications too, so that you'll be the first to know of any videos I post up here on this channel. Okay, so the first tool that I highly recommend you use and perhaps the greatest thing since sliced bread, it's none other than Canva. If you don't know what Canva is, just think of Photoshop, but for beginners and those who aren't tech savvy. With Canva, you can design all sorts of things such as ebook covers, brochures, planners, checklists, and more. I personally use Canva to create my ebook covers, my actual ebooks that have a number of pages to it, as well as social media content and posts. If you go to Canva, you can actually search up ebook covers or ebooks, and then select from a range of pre-designed and pre-created ebooks that you can use as a foundation to then write and design your own ebooks. From there, it's as easy as editing the existing template, changing the font style, the sizes, and the colors to match your branding. And once you're happy with your design, all you need to do is just download a PDF copy. Next up, one of my all-time favorite tools to actually create video tutorials online is to use a tool called ScreenFlow. Now, this is a Mac-only app, and I don't think they have any plans of creating a Windows version, but there are other screen recording tools that you can use for Windows. There's a tool called Camtasia, which can essentially do the same job. Now, these are paid tools, so if you are looking for a free alternative, then check out Screencast-O-Matic. Tools such as ScreenFlow and Camtasia will allow you to walk your viewer or your customer through whatever you wanna teach them. All my video tutorials that I record and publish to YouTube were recorded using ScreenFlow. So if you have plans to create an online course of some sort, then one of these tools are definitely going to be your best friend. All right, my next favorite tool and something that's actually sitting on my tripod at the moment, which I can't show you, but I'll run some B-rolls here, which you can see. I use a Canon M50 coupled with a Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. Because I want to make these talking head style YouTube videos, I thought let's invest in a professional camera. Now this may be overkill, especially if you're just getting started with video, but if you are looking to up your game in terms of the quality of your videos, then I highly recommend upgrading to something like the M50. But as they say, the best camera is the one in your pocket. So for that, use your smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone. Most of these smartphones will produce high quality video anyway. I actually started recording using a pocket camera that we had lying around that my wife and I used to use when we traveled around. My next favorite digital product creation tool is the range of Google apps. With Google, you can create docs, you can create spreadsheets and slides and keynotes. The best part about using Google's apps is that it's free and won't cost you a single cent. I use Google Docs to write my eBooks and then convert it into a PDF document. In addition, I also use Google Docs to write up some proposals and quotes for clients for our digital business agency. My next favorite tool and one that actually will help you get more done is a project management system. And for me, I use Notion. Notion works like Trello and Asana, which are popular project management systems. Notion helps me in terms of knowing exactly where my project is at the moment. I personally like to use the Kanban format in terms of project management. So this means you work around columns. With this example here, you can see that I gather all my ideas on the left. It then moves from idea to ordered, which I order from my freelance writers. Then I move it to working on if I am working on it. Then once it is published or launched, I just move it on to the launch column. So as you can see, this is a systematic way of getting more done, whether you are creating digital products, creating content or anything else that has to do with projects. So tools like Notion, Trello and Asana will help you manage your projects better because you're able to also collaborate with other team members, let's say a designer or a writer or both, and everyone can share and know exactly where everyone stands in terms of the project status. All right, so those are my current top five digital product creation tools that I'm using almost on a daily basis. What tools have helped you in terms of digital product creation or content creation? 
Feel free to comment below, I'd love to hear from you. If you got value from this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications too, so that you'll be the first to know of any tips, tool reviews and training that I post up here on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to stick around to watch these next relevant videos. Stand up and make